Hey there everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. So it's time to head into these three different areas and I am going to get the most annoying one out of the way first. And that would be the mines. This is also where one of the optional golems are. Anyway... Yeah, it's basically telling you that you need to use the guitar in order to uh, awaken the golem, but um... Basically, the way this is, is there's a lot of... Um, the thing about this area is, there's a lot of stairs, there's a lot of chests, and... Uh, all of these chests have one item in them. They they have an like an eye. I, guess, I think it's the crystal eye. But yeah, all of these um, chests have this one um, item in them. But the thing is, one of them is real, and all of the others are fake. And I believe that every time you uh, play through the game, I think it's the same chest. But unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure which one that is. <laughs> So, there's going to be some trial and error, but first, before we do anything else... Let's fight the golem! Oh. Hi there, Alexia. How'd you get into this game? Anyway, yes, this here is Sato, and he is harder than other golems, I'll say that much. I honestly, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but we'll see. Start so casting Hyper on Jack. The, the two golems here in Maldug are much harder than the ones you can fight on Filgaia. And, okay. Sizable damage, but nothing too terrible. If he does that twice, I'm screwed. Okay, good. Well, actually, that might not be good. I don't know how much that's going to do. Oh, okay, good. I can deal with that. Yeah, we shouldn't have much difficulty bringing this guy down, but we'll see. I think rather than trying to lower his stats, I'm just going to use Phaser every turn, and I'm going to have... Yeah, check the Magnifying, and you're just going to keep casting... Well, actually, no. I am going to slow him down, because that'll at least help ensure that I get the first turn on him. Assuming it works. Okay, good, it worked. Could weaken his defense, but I'm not going to worry about it. Jack is delivering more than his fair share amount of damage to this guy. I think it's about half dead already. Yeah, I'm, I wonder if he's weak to... Actually, I actually wonder if he's weak to Saint. Because the other golem here is actually weak to, to, uh, dark. Or darkness. Oh. Well, he's not weak to it, but I don't even know how much damage that did, but it killed him. <laughs> At least I think the other golem has a weakness to dark. I'm not sure. I know it does in the remake. Not, not so sure about here. There, we got the Braver Vest, which... Uh, that's either Rudy or Jack. Ah, that's for Rudy. Oh, look at that! Look at that magic resistance boost! Good grief! 
yeah, that right there is Rudy's ultimate uh, armor. That's going to make him much more defensive for sure. Wow, Sato was a lot easier than I thought he would be. But now we have to do the annoying task of finding the real eye. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing of significance that you can find here. Uh, I don't know if this is it. But yes, got the eye. Now there's a way... Actually, I have a funny story to tell about this. On my very first playthrough of this game, I actually picked the correct eye on my first try. And... Like, like, see... Um, all the other chests in this area, if you have the eye in your inventory, you cannot open them. They all contain an eye, but, um, you can only carry one at a time, and all the other chests will be locked. And I remember I was, like, confused as to why all the other chests were locked, and I couldn't open them. And, well, I picked the correct eye on my first playthrough. So, I never knew anything about one of the eye, like, all the other eyes being fake. And on my second playthrough... Actually, I need to find something. Wait, where is it? There's a way you can tell um, if the eye you have is real or fake. I'm not exactly sure where it is. But yeah, on my second playthrough, I picked the wrong eye. And I, I, I got so confused because I was taking it back to the pedestal. But it was like rejecting it and it wasn't taking it. I was so confused because I had no idea what I was doing wrong. And I ended up like... Yeah, I ended up like having to look it up, and I found out about the thing, like how there's like fake eyes and all that. But yeah, that threw me for a loop on my second playthrough, because I had no idea about that. Oh, here we go, we have to bomb this. Now. Okay, there, if that eye flash is red, that means you have the incorrect one, I believe. But if it flashes blue, I think? It means you have the right one. So yeah, th this could get annoying. And I didn't even know about that eye on my that eye on the wall there. Like, I didn't know what that signified, so I, I literally ran all the way back to the room with the pedestals every time I picked up an eye until I, like, figured out what the right one was. Yeah, it kind of sucked. <laughs> And unfortunately, you have to return the eye uh, to the treasure chest if you pick up the wrong one. So yeah, we have to actually... Why am I not using invisible? Yeah, we have to return to the chest now. And now you see why this is the most annoying section of Malduke. Oh, right, you have to actually, uh, yeah, investigate the object. Oh, maybe it's this one. I I'm just, I'm just going to go, like, from right to left and see... Ah, stupid mazes.
incorrect that I was. Uh, maybe it's that one? I don't know. I have to actually return the other one first. In you go. All right, let's see. What's the next one? Oh, it's actually that one I was going down to before. Okay. Man, maybe that is it. I don't know. Ah, incorrect again. Okay, you know what? I'm almost positive. It has to be this one over here. If it isn't, then it might actually be all the way over on the right side somewhere. Ugh. Okay, wasn't this one down here the first one we picked up, I think? Ugh. I think it is over to the right. I don't get why that doesn't work sometimes, that's weird. Yes! Finally! Good. We are done with the mines. So, I, I gotta remember where that is from now on. Better use some more magic carrots. Okay. Well, now that we got that annoying area out of the way, uh, let's. Yeah, let's go here. I'm going to save the green one for last. The reason I'm going here first is because the statue area has the other optional golem in this place. as one could probably assume. I know there's some items hidden in this area, too. We have to do something with these switches in a certain way. Yeah, you, you can tell what this is gonna be. It's a giant, uh, door and switch maze, basically. This area is also very reminiscent of Pandemonium. Oh, well, there's the chest I was thinking of. We need to get over here when the blue doors are off. Okay. 
Well, we kick Sato's butt pretty easily. Okay, yeah, we can't go that way. Yeah, each one of these uh, three areas have their own unique enemies. And I believe the green area, which I believe is the residential area, um, it has an enemy there which drops magic carrots, if I remember correctly. So if you wanted to stock up on those, you could fight those. <laughs> There's a switch. Blue doors should now be off. Oh, actually, wait a sec. Does that remain on? Oh, right, okay. That's how you get those items. This is everybody's uh, second best armors, I believe. Although, yeah, uh, Rudy and Cecilia both have their uh, ultimate armors. But yeah, the key here is to find two switches, which will move them to statues we saw earlier. Well, these two right here, out of the way. All we need to do is we need to clear the way with these bombs. Because if we... Oh, hey, it's a Dello Bunny. Um, these are basically a lesser version of Acid Bunnies, and it ran away. But if we could kill that, we would have gotten 10,000 EXP. Yeah, you see what we need to do here in this area. That's actually not quite as complicated as I remembered it being. You basically just flip a switch, blow up a rock, flip the switch again, then you can get to the switch, and you just kind of rinse and repeat for the other side, I guess. Got that clear. Now we can go over here real quick. Go down this ladder and we can now hit the switch up here. And that moved one of the statues. Now we just go need to hit that switch again. Now we just... Now we just... Did, wait, what did I just say? Now we just go need to hit that switch again? What? Don't question it. <laughs> no! Sometimes I say silly stuff. Also, I don't actually quite remember how to get to the golem here. I think there might be like a hidden passage somewhere, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe you can only get to it after moving these two statues. 
which we're about to get done with. There we go, all done. Metal slimes. I mean, Dello bunnies. Oh, well, here's the chest. Got the arms. Now, my question is how the heck do we get to the golem? I, I, I don't remember. Oh, right, here we go. There's a hidden passage right here. But we need to have the red switch on before we can get in there. Or the red doors. Whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and use the watch to go back. And let's go take us down another golem. All right, here we go. Now, I'm not sure why these are on fire. Okay. Now, if I remember right, I think this guy has really high physical defense, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna start by using slowdown, though. I don't want to take risks here. Okay, good. Okay, your physical defense isn't that good, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use Hyper on Jack. Okay, yeah, this guy hurts a little more than Sato does, or did. You know, I'm not sure. It might be weak to darkness. I, I may not bother with it, though. I, I think I need just just have Cecilia focus on healing. And Rudy is now out of phaser bullets, unfortunately, but we have, uh... Yeah, we have we have bullet clips. I might as well take this chance to show off the uh, arch smash, though. Actually, I haven't shown off some of his arms. I might as well show off Wild Bunch too. But yeah, the Golem elemental weaknesses—they might only be in uh, Alter Code F. Yeah, Ambrosia, you know, I might as well find out now. Let me see. Let me use Dark, uh... Actually, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Jack, you are going to use an Ambrosia. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that has no effect. So I guess this guy is about on par with Angol Moa in terms of difficulty. Uh, you know, I think he's almost dead, though. I I'm just gonna... Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I definitely want to have Jack use an Ambrosia again. Yeah, hold on. Hmm... Let's use the Chrono Rune again. Because I need to deal damage to this guy, obviously. You're going to lock on with the Rocket Launcher. You are going to use an Ambrosia again. And you are going to summon. I think Beam Fencer is a physical attack, though, so if we cast it High Shield, it could help, but. Yeah, I think this guy is almost dead, though. Plus, if push comes to shove, I have, like, a million goat dolls, so... There's no way we're gonna lose to this guy. Okay, time for another Magnum Fang. Oh, darn. Hyper ran out. Oh, that's new. Oh. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and pop another Ambrosia, because why not? That attack is really not nice. Well, hopefully this will kill him. Oh, good. Well, everyone, that was the last of the optional golems. And we get Jack's ultimate armor, Jade Wilder. All right. That uh, does it for the statue area of Malduk. Now we only have one more area to go through, the residential area, and that won't shouldn't be an issue at all. Because that, that is all the optional content here on Malduk finished, so all we really need to do now is go to the residential area and get the last uh, key item, and yeah, we'll be almost done with this place. By the way, I said that was the last optional golem, but if you guys have been counting, you would know that there's actually one golem left. Because two, two of the golems so far have been mandatory boss fights, one of them is on our side, and we've defeated uh, four optional golems. And there were eight golems total, so... hmm. I wonder where the last one is. Well, maybe we'll find that out next time. 
For now, see ya everyone.